This set of videos is uh, covering paper 9709 for spring 2010, uh, paper 12 for Cambridge International Exam. So we're going to be working through problems 1 through 11 um, in the next few videos. So here's number one. It says show that the equation 3 times the quantity 2 sine of x minus cosine of x is equal to 2 sine of x minus 3 cosine of x can be written in the form the tangent of x equals negative 3 fourths x. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do to approach this is I'm going to I'm going to distribute the coefficients uh, to every term in the parentheses. There's that side. On the next side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So 2 gets distributed to sine of x, as well as to the three, negative 3 cosine of x. Okay. At this point, I actually have, I'm trying to do an identity here, except instead of having the identical two symbols, I've got an equal sign. And what I'm trying to make this equation equal to or identical to is this tangent of x. So I'm going to start um, by thinking about, I know that tangent of x happens when sine of x is divided by cosine of x. So I'm going to get all the sine of x's on one side, all the cosines of x on another, because I know that I need to make that division happen if, um, if I'm going to get everything on one side. So I'm moving sine of x to one side and I'm moving cosine of x to the other all in one step. So 6 sine of x minus 2 sine of x is 4 sine of x. This goes away equals, that goes away, uh, negative 3 cosine of x. Okay, at this point I'm going to get sine of x divided by cosine of x by moving cosine of x over. Okay, so I end up with 4 and sine of x divided by cosine of x is equal to tangent of x. So I'm subbing that in. 4 sine of x divided by cosine of x equals negative 3. And then my last step is I'm dividing by 4. Alright, so that's the first part. That's part i. Part double i says solve the equation that was given above. Um, between 0 and 360 degrees inclusive for x. So basically this is equal to the tangent of x equals negative 3 fourths x. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to bother messing with that large equation. I'm going to pull down what I did on the other one. Do it over here. And I'm just going to solve for x. Okay, so the way I'm doing this is first I'm going to make sure my calculator is in degree mode is in degrees, so that needs to be in degrees. I'm going to take the arctan of both sides, and I get the arctan of negative 3 fourths gives me, let's calculator open here, so the arctan of negative 3 fourths is a negative 36.9 degrees approximately. That doesn't fit our uh, our interval of 0 to 360, so I'm going to add 180, 180 degrees that is, because that's the period of tangent, and I get 143.13 degrees. Uh, for Cambridge, they want us to round to one degree, or to the one decimal place when we're in degrees, uh, but this isn't it. This is one solution. I need to go back and see if I add yet another 180 degrees if I get a second value. Because I know that I actually do. I get 323.1. Okay, again, I'm rounding to one decimal place per Cambridge's instructions. Alright, so these are the uh, two answers for part double I. And if I wanted to, since it's a really short problem, it's only worth two points, I maybe would even plug one of these back, both of these back in and check to make sure that it equals what it's supposed to. Okay, number two. What's tricky about this is the fact that we have two variables, and um, at this point we're only doing single variable calculus. So the only one that we are going to be 
integrating with respect to is x. a is a constant, so um, it's just a number written as a variable. So we don't we don't do anything to that; it stays the same. So um, let's go ahead and read this problem. The diagram shows part of a curve y equals a divided by x, where a is a positive constant. This is the really important part. That means a doesn't change; it doesn't. It's a it's a number essentially, represented by a variable. Given that the volume obtained when the shaded region is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis, that's this way, um, is 24 pi, find the value of a. All right, so first things first. We know that when we want to find the volume and it's rotated around the x-axis, we're using this equation. What that means is we need to, our first step is going to be squaring, uh, squaring the equation to get y squared. All right, so I'm going to square this whole equation. And per the rule of exponents, I end up with y squared equals a squared divided by x squared, which can be written like this. So we always want to get everything in the numerator at this point when we're dealing with um, integration or differentiation for that matter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So um, our boundaries are from 1 to 3. Okay, my y squared, as you can see, is here, is a, or a squared x to the negative 2x. And then we are cutting, uh, we're cutting the slices. Um, Okay, so that's what this means for integrating. So we're going to go ahead and take the integral of this. Remember, we are integrating with respect to x only. Oh, I dropped my pi too. That would be very bad to not have that on there. Okay, so the integral of x to the negative 2 power um, is 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1, times a squared times x to the negative 1 from 1 to 3. Okay, so what you're noticing is a doesn't change at all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. Okay, and as I'm going to write this, um, I'm going to drop my x down because this means it belongs in the denominator. I'm going to put 3 down here, minus parentheses, negative a squared over 1. Okay, there's that. And we know the volume at this point is equal to 24 pi. So my first thing is I'm going to divide pi from both sides. And since everything's multiplied, that's why this goes away. So 24 equals negative a squared over 3 plus a squared. So lots of right ways to do this here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 3 to get um, the 3 out of the denominator. Or you can get a common denominator, it doesn't matter really. Um, so this equals negative a squared. The 3 actually gets distributed to every term, so don't forget about that term. Okay, so I end up with 72 equals 2a squared. I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, so 36 equals a squared. They said that a had to be a positive constant, so a is 6. Okay, so that is number 2. Um, make sure you don't put the negative, because they're saying that a is only the positive.